I was born with more than 1,000 moles in my body. I didn't wear shorts or short dresses because I was like very afraid to show all my body because of the reaction of the people. When I was out in public, I noticed that people stare at me. People comment like, oh, you seem like a Dalmatian. When I went to the psychologist, I learned how to accept my body. I love my skin. I feel that I am special. Today is very important because I'm going to show my body wearing a bikini on TikTok for the first time. I don't know how people is going to react. Congenital narcissistic nervous are condition. In my old body, I have um, 1,212 moles in all my body. When I was born, doctor said to operate because there is a percentage to develop a skin cancer. But currently, they say if, the, if you take care of your body and skin and so on, and you put sun cream and cream, there is no uh, big percentage. When I was a teenager, I used to wear clothes that cover my body. I used to feel very strange with my body, so I think that I reflected with the clothes. So as you can see, I wear, for example, long skirts, long shorts, big jumpers, so in that way I, can, I could cover my body. So in that way, people uh, don't look at me in, in a strange way. People comment with uh, different groups or say to me like, oh, you seem like a Dalmatian. Or for example, some people like a alien because of the scars. Clothes that I use currently that I didn't imagine before to wear them are for example, the dresses that are very old, are short. The little tops that when I wear them, I, I, you can see all my big scars. So I show all my moles, the scars and so on. My confidence has changed over these years and currently, for example, I love to to show uh, my body. I love summer because I can show my scars, I can show my mold. <laughs> when, when Alba was born, uh, we were afraid that her birthmarks um, maybe will stop her from doing lots of things. But the, the fact is that um, she has done more things than we could ever thought. Um. I think she's living a normal life with some exceptions but mm -hmm. what do you think you... yes yes i think that i try to normalize my situation so um instead of covering my skin or not going to places because what people is going to say um i try to normalize and wearing bikinis swimsuits and shorts and going to these places in believing that i am normal and also very important is that you help, I think you help people with the situation. And when she posts this, uh, her situation in Instagram, TikTok or mm. other channels, and she normalizes the situation, what she does, I think you are helping a lot of people. <laughs> when I went to the psychologist, I learned how to accept my body. But a few years later, when I began with different shootings, seeing myself in different photos, and I like that photo. So this uh, helped me to love my, myself. I love my big mold. I mean, I was born with it, so I love it. it. For me, it's natural. For me, it's normal. The first time that I show my, my body in social media was in Twitter. I, I put the photos about my scars. And I put a comment like, I love my body, but some days it's like very hard to, to love it and accept it. So because of this tweet, a photographer, she said, uh, I saw your photo, so I would like to shoot you. And this was my first shooting. <laughs> and when I post the different photos of my body, people began to, to say a lot of beauty, a beautiful things about me. It helped me a lot to my confidence to see that people see me like I see myself in a normal way. There are like a few comments that are negative. There are a few comments, so I don't 
look at the comments or I don't, I, I don't even answer them. At the beginning, when she started sharing social media, yes, I was afraid because we know that people in the internet, they say all kinds of comments. We, we saw that they were mostly good. So um, today I'm going to film myself doing a TikTok, uh, wearing a bikini, and it's my first time. I'm very proud because <laughs> um, she has this facility <laughs> to speak uh, in front of a camera, in front of uh, strange people, and I think this is something very positive. <laughs> so I'm very happy and excited because I'm, I don't know how people is going to react, but let's see. So uh, the different comments that I have received because of the TikTok posted are like, oh, you're beautiful, wow, how stunning, uh, I congratulate you, I love you. I feel very happy to post this TikTok because it's my first time showing my body with wearing a bikini. At the beginning I was like a little bit curious about how people was going to react but I see that there is a lot of positive comments, so I'm very happy. I love my body. I love it because I feel that I am not normal. So I am special, I'm unique. So I think that <laughs> it's a different beauty. It should be mandatory to accept yourself because it's your body and it's yours. It's very beautiful to feel that you love yourself. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story. It is my truth.